Hey everybody, Josh here from Android Central, and uh, for someone who gets a fair amount of packages in the mail, I was looking for a good app to replace parcels, which uh, pretty much just stopped working out of the blue, and I ended up finding one called Shiprack, which I am really, really pleased with. Now this is kind of hot on the heels of Phil doing a nice walkthrough of Slice. And while you'll notice that Shipwreck's uh, interface isn't as nice as Slices, you also don't need to give it access to your Gmail inbox. Uh, the way Shipwreck works is whenever you get an email that has a confirmation or a tracking number, uh, USPS, UPS, whatever, you actually forward it to packages at shipwreck.com and then they'll add it to your account. So you'll see these are a lot of things that I've received already and they've got some really really cool stuff um, like if you get something from Amazon it'll actually show the little picture from Amazon uh, you can tap the top right corner icon it'll excuse me show you a map of you know the route that your thing took and then it also gives you notifications at every change if it goes from transit to arrival scan arrival scan out to uh, out for delivery you get a little shipwreck notification up here it's a little green ship very very cool stuff uh, it's pretty simple to set up. Let's hop into the settings. Uh, tells you some legal stuff about Carrier Logo. What you do need to do right off the bat is set up your Google account. And so it'll it'll automatically say, hey, this is a Google account on your phone. I won't tap it because I'm using my personal one. But it'll say, is this one you want to use? And so it will know every time it receives a forward from that account to sync it up with this app. You can also add email aliases because Shipwreck has this kind of annoying tendency to send you an email notification every time something changes as well. And also whenever it receives a new thing to track, it says, oh, we got your tracking thing. So you can actually put your main account alias in here and then say, don't send me notifications. You can do the standard notification tone, vibrate, uh, give it quiet times. And then you can also say notify me when, you know, all of these things you, on the phone uh, for a phone notification. I like to be notified every step of the way, and so that's why I leave them all checked. Uh, there's some support information. <laughs> there's a text from my dad um, about refunds and support, legal disclaimer. Now, Shipwreck is normally free by itself. Uh, there is an ad-supported version. Um, you get these annoying ads at the bottom, but if you choose no ads right here, uh, you can get an ad-free version for 99 cents, uh, which I did because I think it's great. It works really, really well. You don't have to give up as much control as you would to something like Slice, even though the interface is nicer. And it also doesn't track how much you've spent, so you don't have to worry about that terribly, you know, guilty feeling when you realize that you've spent $20,000 on, you know, whatever it is you might spend $20,000 on. Um, so yeah, in a nutshell, that shipwreck, if you're looking for something to track your packages for you, I'd highly recommend it, especially if you don't want to give outside sources access to your inbox. Works like a charm. Um, not much else to say besides that. One last time, it's called Shipwreck, not Ship Track, just Shipwreck. Yeah, there's a free ad-supported version, and you can upgrade for 99 cents. You can find it in the Google Play Store.